Welcome everyone, this is Plugin Fox, and today we are back with another plugin for your Minecraft survival world, and it's Chunky. So, Chunky is a good plugin for loading all your chunks before players get on, so they don't have the lag of rendering in chunks every time that they walk around or do anything. Um, this is also great for like dynamaps where you can load it in right away so they can see the entire map and you can do world borders with Chunky as well. I'm going to do both the Chunky border and Chunky itself. So let's get started. All right, here we are. We are in the config file of Chunky. So this is a very, very, very simple one. Um, so you can pretty much select what version, wouldn't change that. You can have English, continue on restart would probably be a good one, and then having it silent. So having it silent means you won't get the messages scrolling down your screen when you enable this. Uh, and then this is chunky border, so version, border options, so check intervals, um, use action bars, ender signal, or ender signal. Um, pretty much I wouldn't do any of this unless right down here so you can enable dynamap blue map and square map so i'm going to turn blue map and square map off and just use dynamap but you might not have to do that and then you can choose the color of the border and all that so let's just jump right in all right guys we are back in the game now so let's start working on the server here so one of them is do slash chunky and then you can see borders uh so let's set a border here so we can do center zero zero with a radius of 500 and let's jump over to dynamap and you can see that the border is out so now let's do uh, let's do tricky start and what that should do now is if we go into our config file or thing you'll see it's starting to render all the chunks in So now let's go to game mode creative and if we fly over at some point we'll hit the border so we're getting really close to hitting the border it's gonna take a little bit because it's trying to render in all the chunks as well on top of what I'm doing so you've reached the edge of the border and it will just teleport you back in and then that's pretty much everything we can do for that you can also do kind of a little bit of everything else so you can do center corners patterns pause progress so we can do progress ETA six minutes and two seconds uh, it's 33.99 percent done uh, if we do you can do shapes silent spawn start trim worlds so you could do different worlds and then world border so that's pretty much all that you can do I'm gonna show another clip here in a little bit of it actually finished with world or with dynamap so give me one second let me finish this all right so we are completely done now um it may take a little bit for dynamap to catch up for what you just did but anyway there are a couple disclaimers on this video as well yes this does provide a faster way of moving so as you can see it is really silky smooth right now because it's not loading in any chunks you can just kind of fly around without having to worry about anything um the only bad side is if you do want updates on your server or want to update this to a newer version any chunks that have been loaded 
in your map will not load to the newest version. So this entire area here in my map, so as you can see, it's slowly loading in via Dynamap right now, but with everything that's loaded inside this red square right now, this entire area will not get loaded in with a new thing. So if you wanted to update to 1.19 and wanted mountains and everything and you were on 1.17 or something, none of that would happen because this is different areas and you would the chunks have already been loaded the only time that would happen is if you regenerate chunks on your old maps be warned about that um other than that i uh, don't have anyone else on while you're rendering because it does take up quite a bit of cpu power and trying to render this map other than those two things, I would say this is a great plugin for players that want to stay on a certain version or change maps really often to the point where it doesn't really matter at that point. So every update you change, uh, then this map or this plugin would be great for you guys. So as I said, I will show you my Dynamap here really quick. Um, as you can see, it's kind of popping in right now. It's just taking a little bit of time. But... Um, the red line, as I said, is the border, so it will show you on your Dynamap. You can display this to other people and have your entire world know about it. And then um, that should be about everything for today. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I am making a new Discord server for you guys so you guys can talk, chat about everything with plugins. Um, also, eventually I want to make maybe a Minecraft server to go with it at some point in time. Um, otherwise, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next video.